So here I am on day three. It's hot. I decided to go northwest to Idaho and probably Oregon. Who knows? Maybe Northern California. And see volcanoes and craters. Crater Lake. Columbia Gorge with all its volcanic stuff. But getting away from this hot waking up is too darn hot. You can kind of hear the theme here. So fortunately, getting off the freeway, the drive is much nicer, even if it's still really hot. What I am enjoying about this is that I get to find places like Chimney Rock there, where I wouldn't have found this just by sticking to the freeway to go somewhere else fast. This is a natural formation made by a volcano that left its central core and then clay called Bruley clay and uh, sand built up over millions of years and eroded over millions of years leaving these distinctive structures that have meaning to natives and to pioneers and to the people who live here now, <clears throat> who also invented Arbor Day, which I hadn't known before driving Highway 92 and 26 that brought me to this place. Next, along the same highway, came Scott's Bluff National Monument, another place that you probably never heard of and is really pretty amazing in northeast Nebraska. Um, these incredible spires and palisades of volcanic upthrust, silt deposition and erosion. And then gorgeous sights. Just amazing, gorgeous country here. It's amazing how good it smells. All of the conifers and pretty other stuff. Nothing like the smell of prairie before and after a storm, which I think is coming. like seeing a storm on the plains. Another view along the top of Scott's Bluff on the somewhat longer section, the north section. And right about here is where the ranger said that everybody had to leave because of the big dangerous storm coming. So I did. And it, it did. is just storming like nuts outside. Me and this other pickup truck both pulled off in the same driveway, getting the lee of a big old tree because of the hail and the wind that was blowing so hard. But it didn't it is raining and blowing, it was hailing, but that was when my battery died. So it's actually not nearly as windy as it was about a couple minutes ago. And it should blow over pretty quick. It's just a good plain thunderstorm. No tornado alerts. But me and this other truck both had the same idea. Get off the road and hide. He just left and so will I. 
It's still a little hail, but not much. Okay, the end of day three, another night on the trail. This time I'm outside of a little town called Torrington, Wyoming. I finally made it through Nebraska at a little county park which has a little bridge so I must have a creek that I need to go look at and it's pretty nice there's a few other RVs here and of course my mobile kitchen and gray horse So I'm driving through Western Wyoming on day four. Some pretty prairie with these dark bluffs, sandstone bluffs. Lots of cattle. Castles in the prairie. Only nicer. Because they don't have a bunch of mean guys and swords and stuff. up here where it's probably only 4,000 feet maybe and hopefully cooler than it is down here which is about 95 degrees super pretty okay so here we are going up into the Laramies on a ranching road I aired down 10 pounds so far. I'm gonna probably air down some more once I can find some shade. Pretty country. Rough driving and 100 degrees out. Rock and roll. Country like this, that's why to come up here. Well, private road from here on out, even though it shows on the map as roads, but it was getting a little sketchy anyway, like <laughs> that. So that's all right. I'll get turned around and see if there is another way through the Laramie Mountains. It's not a private road. Sure is pretty though. Since I'm stopped, I have the hood up just to let the engine cool a little more. No problems though. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello again, family and YouTube. Day four, and I am in dispersed camping in the Tom Thorne and Beth Williams uh, Wildlife Habitat Management Area off of Wyoming Highway 34 in the Laramie Mountains. Camped by little... So here's a pretty little creek that I'm camping at. So here I have the camper aimed to try and keep the morning sun off of my wall, which is the driver's side wall, and got the Reflectix um, down enough to let the breeze through and the curtains up to keep the evening sun out, and things were pretty comfortable for evening heat. So, dinner time on day four. First, I'm going to use my toasted cheese or toasted anything sandwich maker. Put pretty good, one side golden, one side a little bit more than golden. Next time, I might pre fry the spam. Well, I tried to give you all a little rundown of things but the battery was dying as I was eating my sandwich which is why it chopped off maybe it's better that way um, hoping to stay up here another couple days at least one more day to explore a night to sleep again before I head west again first time in the Laramie Mountains is Kind of neat, so I don't want to rush it. And I hope you all are enjoying my tapes and that I don't talk too slow and say too much. Okay, this you guys got to see. I'm camped at 4,000 feet. I bought these in Wisconsin at about 798 feet and look at that for illustrational purposes only I'm using my k-bar <laughs> easily entertained they say Also, for educational purposes, when you're cleaning up supper and you grab your toaster iron thing, don't try and hit mosquitoes with it. Doesn't work. So, there's cleanup before hiking the next day. I thought that you see what it was like at night. And then on into hiking in the next week. You know, there are new mountains of eastern Wyoming. So here I hiked up and scrambled up to the top of the waterfall overlooking the camp.
And this is what feeds the waterfall above my camp. <coughs> the creek that goes by my camp. Super pretty little spot. All this water draining through the rocks coming out at the bottom of this. Don't know if it dries up. Right now it's only June. But I did just see a little fish cap the surface. So there's something in here. Around is rather blink. Laramie Mountains. The southern end, so they're not as high up as where I tried to go through yesterday and couldn't get through. Well, I wanted to catch some morning light, of which there wasn't much left. It's 10 a.m. on June 15th. Wow. <laughs> I haven't been keeping track. But it sure is pretty. Alright, this is overlooking my camp. So at this point, I tried to wait out the hot weather and only made it a few hours before I gave up and broke camp and headed northwest for cooler ground. It was just too hot and I was getting overheated. So when there's more to watch, then I will post another video for you all. But that'll probably be a few days when I'm in the Bighorn Mountains. For now, love my family and hope everybody on YouTube is enjoying the summer. Bye-bye.